Right, so we've uh, got our app freshly downloaded onto our Galaxy Tab here, the Ignite app, and we've fully charged a couple of the uh, modules. Although they do come charged, it's uh, always best to plug them in and give them a little charge up. And what we're going to do now is um, pair these two modules. So at the moment it says no modules connected. So if we click on modules, no modules paired, and we've got an add button to add a module. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on this module, the power on and off button is at the top here, this one is. and then we're going to click on add the module. Oh, one module found. There we are. And then click on it and it asks for a four digit pin. I don't know why it's put that in there. Um, oh, I see it's trying to scan the barcode. So inside the battery compartment under here is a four digit code for security. I've written them down, save a F, F, K, I for this one. And the pin match is successful. You can now select the color that you want to represent that module. So here we are. Connection established. Receiving information. Here we go. So it's now showing us our module, the color, the battery strength, and if we had any cues plugged in, it would to the uh, or igniters plugged into the cues, I should say, it would be showing them on here. We'll do a video of that later. If you want to change the color, you can just click the edit icon up the top here and change your color. Obviously, it's showing that this is already in use. You can only have one color. We'll go back and we'll change the colour to yellow. Let's change to yellow and it's shown as yellow on there. We want to add another module. So we'll turn on this module. Add. There we go. Oh. Refresh. There we go. And the pin, this one's 288L. We'll choose pink for this one. Or purple. Let's come back. It's connecting. Just receiving information. There we go, and there's the second module, and you can just scroll through the modules, and it gives you your signal strength when it was last updated, obviously your battery, and also your firmware version, which obviously if, uh, it's showing here it's current. If there's new firmware available, it will download it, and uh, you can update it, but you can select through your modules at the side here. So a little quick video on how to add a couple of modules and we'll be doing some more later.